during the weekends, I bet most of you like to lounge in bed to catch up on some TV series or to read a book. At least I do. Even if I naturally wake up at 8 o'clock in the morning, I still like to roll around in bed and stay warm in the duvet just a bit longer. Well, that's until my mom busts into my room and gets my lazy bum out of bed. That's kind of like Newton's first law of motion. An object at rest stays at rest unless a force acts on it. And that was just a fun way to remember the law. But now let's talk physics. There are two parts to Newton's first law. The first part says that if an object is at rest, it remains at rest unless an external force acts on it. And remember, force is measured in the units Newtons. Let's look at the second part of the law. Newton says that if an object is already in motion, it continues to move with the same velocity unless an external force acts on it. This external force can change its speed, direction, or completely stop it. In other words, if you don't apply a force to an object, the object keeps on doing what it was doing before. This tendency is known as inertia. That's why you may hear scientists also call this law the law of inertia. Can you think of everyday situations where Newton's first law is applicable? Consider driving a car at 50 miles per hour and you suddenly have to step on the brake. Even when the car comes to a rest, you're jerked forward due to inertia. You'll continue to move at 50 miles per hour, but luckily your seatbelt stops you from hitting your windshield because it produces that external force that stops you from motion. To summarize, Newton's first law of motion says that an object remains in the same motion unless an external force acts on it.